Atlanta, Georgia. Home of the Braves. We're back at Truist Park tonight as the Braves take on the New York Mets. We've made our way in. The Braves taking on the Mets tonight. It's a road trip for us. Taking my mom to the game. Mets out on the field taking batting practice. Getting ready for TV tonight. This night's game is on ESPN. If you want a Braves jersey customized, they've got you covered. Mets fans in the house. We did a tour earlier today of Truist Park. You can see all of this good stuff in detail. If you want to click the link up above. Larry. Staff is wonderful. They just stopped my mom to tell her that they love her wearing her Freddie Freeman jersey. If for nothing else, the stadium is full of super nice people. All right, so we just wrapped up at guest services, by the way. We had non-accessible seating to begin with, but they hooked us up with wheelchair accessible seating now, so we're good to go. The mix-up in seating, all my bad, but the Braves organization, awesome, in being able to get us new seating quickly. By the way, the Braves played to 40,000 fans the other day. There are no spacing restrictions here. And as you can see, masks, our signs are up about them, but they are optional. Braves crew out on the field. Making it all nice. So you can see the crowd here is packed. When we bought our tickets, when they initially went on sale and pre-sale, it was only 40% capacity that they were selling. They since opened it up, and here we are. This is the view from the wheelchair accessible seat. We've got grounds come out. Braves warming up out in right. Stretching with Pete Alonzo, Kevin Pillar. At section 111, your guest services on the terrace level concourse at section 242, and on the upper level concourse at section 314. Fans, please don't throw the objects on the playing field. Such behavior can cause.
This place is like flushing south tonight. Coming into this game, the Mets are in first place in the National League East. The Braves trailing them by two games. Polar Bear at the plate. Back to the wall, saving a home run. The Mets goose eggs in the first. The Waffle House stand is not open here right now, but usually you get hash brown bowls here, which is ridiculous. Also a Chick-fil-A. Well, three up, three down for the Braves. Look at all that smoke. There is a ton of smoke that's happening now for some reason. This is what the crowd's looking like here, too. So, lots of people in the first few rows of each section, and then upper kind of spread out a bit. Fargus up to bat, about to hit a jack over the right field wall. And then the pitch we see, Fargus. Pilar, stand up double. Lindor up to bat. Green hair, don't care. Getting the wave going. Getting the wave. Maybe not. Oh, it's not getting any better. Braves finally on the bases. By the way, you can see that big number 44 on the outfield, honoring the legacy of Hank Aaron, who passed away earlier this year. Look at this blooper. He's not socially distanced anymore. Now ball still managed to come over here. That one behind home plate, but even though they've got the netting up, still over the netting and into the crowd here. I don't know if the girl got hit with the ball or they're asking for it back. The chop has started. Acuna at the plate. the Braves trying to stop the chop but the message not getting through caught in foul territory by the way with regards to the chop you can see this metal tower out here and you can see the tomahawks on that tower that usually illuminate during the chop chant we have made it to the top of the seventh nothing nothing we're having a conference in center field and he's off to the showers. And Volpe. The let's go Mets chance begin. Mets on the board. Advance the runner with one out. Lindor back up. Lindor steals second. Oh my God! Hit him in.
in the head. You're a major league pitcher and that's what you pitch? Now there's probably blood on home that aren't there to clean it up. Absolutely awful. So he looked devastated. But if you can't control the ball, and you're pitching in the majors to that degree, oh my goodness. The crowd is really taken out of the game. Braves fans cheering like crazy, but the Mets are up 2-0. Mary is excited. <laughs> At the end of seven, it's two nothing Mets. Moved over a little bit as we're inching our way out of here. A little bit of a different view. On with a single. Mets score another run. A little bloop single that turned into a double. In the eighth inning. So heading back through the outfield. Gonna cut through Hoping Will Sandlot. And so, when we were here last, two years ago, this was hopping with kids. Now, not so much. Little zip line area. And you can see the other kitty games are all closed off. Chick fil A cow up above. Lots of people that have had a lot of alcohol. And we are heading out on the plaza. People have their Camping chairs and lawn chairs out here watching the game. Awesome experience at this stadium. Hey, back at the hotel. And by the way, we're staying at the Hotel Claremont, famous in the Ponce section of Atlanta. And we'll have a separate video for that up above here somewhere. Um, but a couple last thoughts before I wrap the video here. One. There is a uh, burger or a meal or chicken finger dealio that was um, part of the Braves Truist Park experience a couple of years ago. 2019 they introduced it and in 2020 of course we didn't have in-person baseball but 2021 they've not brought it back yet. It's called the Blooper Burger and it's for like four patties and chicken fingers and a foot long hot dog and all of this stuff with candy popcorn as a, uh, a side item. They didn't have that today. So, you know, what I was hoping to do with this video initially would have been um, kind of taking on that challenge and it was not to be. Um, so through COVID, they have a little bit more of a limited menu and that was not one of the items that made it. Um, so we'll come back for that at some other time. Bigger thing was just the hospitality of the um, whole Truist Park, Braves organization and staff um, we did a tour earlier today. People were absolutely wonderful on the tour. Uh, you can check out that video up above or down below or wherever. Um, and, but we've run into more people. Um, and I would say that the folks that we ran into that work um, for the Braves and at Truist Park, um, they were more accommodating 
even for us with our Met stuff on, um, then the folks that we see that are supporting hometown fans um, in Orlando or other areas that we've gone to, just over the top, um, always making sure that everyone is happy. Uh, we saw the same worker uh, that interacted with my mom and uh, was talking to her about Freddie Freeman three times. She remembered her name after the first time that she asked, but three times throughout the game, uh, we just ran into the same folks. Um, they were not the only ones. It was just a consistent theme of everyone being over the top, accommodating and super, super nice. So if you're ever looking to come out to a game and worried about, um, you know, wearing your colors or uniforms of your uh, away teams and things, the Braves, Southern Hospitality, they've got it down pat. But on that note, I'm going to sign off for now. So thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. We'll see you guys.